In this video, we're going to be looking at an example of a bank statement. So let's dive right into it. This bank is called Fina Bank. The account holder is the person whose account this is, and it's Peter Moore. Type of account is a checking account. Now note, just a side note here, in this type of account, you can do almost any transaction. So you can withdraw money, deposit money, etc. Then next, we see the branch. Pretoria, this is where he opened this bank account, and that's the branch code 671200. Statement date tells us that he got the statement on 30 April. Now, let's look at some of the headings here. We have the date, so that's when all the transactions took place. The transaction basically just tells me what happened on that specific day. And then we look at a debit. Now, a debit amount is a negative amount usually and um, that means you pay someone this so you lose this money this goes out of your account okay then the other side you have a credit amount this is a positive amount in most cases so you get or receive this money so that is a positive amount and then the um, balance tells us well, how much you have in your account at any time um, during this statement period. Okay, so once again, let's go right into it. We see that on 1 April, there's an opening balance. So what that means is this is what is left in the account now on that date. And it's a negative 6,482. So he came with that negative amount from March, because that was the previous month. That's what he ended with in March, and now it's got a negative amount. Then on that same day, um, on 1 April again, there was a salary deposit. So he got his salary, was paid to him. And now it is a credit amount of 17,000. Now he has 10,517 in his bank account. So how did this happen? He started with negative 6,400. And then you plus that 17,000 because it's a credit, you plus credits and then equal you'll get this if you do that on your calculator okay let's continue then on the 5th of april um he withdrew 500 rand from the atm so he has 500 rand less now so you take the last amount that you're working with the 10,500. you subtract 500 because it is a debit amount and then you'll get 10,017 rand on your calculator right then on the 6th of April, there was school fees that he paid electronically, EFT. And the amount is 2200 So now he has even less in his bank account. Okay. Then we see that there is a transaction fee of 13 Rand 42 cents. This is what you pay to the bank. Why? It's for all the transactions like the EFTs and the cash withdrawals, the bank also has to get an income. So they use transaction fees. Okay. Then this person also went to Edgar's and he paid with his debit card, 1,100, so now he has even less in his bank. This person also bought some money, uh, food at the food shop for 454 Rand and now he's less in his bank account. And then there was a cash deposit on the 27th of April. Now this cash deposit was once again a credit amount. So we add that amount, then you get 8,181. So what happened with this cash deposit? He went and put cash in at an ATM or at the bank itself. All right, and then there's a closing balance. So this is basically on the last day when this person um, asked for or requested their statement, they ended with that amount. So they'll go into the next month of May with that amount. And it is a positive amount, just note that. So let's look at a few things here. Firstly, an overdraft. Now this person owed the bank money, that's 6,000 um, in their opening balance. So what that means is, when you owe the bank money, you don't have enough in your account. 
So they paid something for you, but now you have to pay them back that negative 6,482 and 20 cents. Okay, so we say your account is then overdrawn. So it's kind of like a loan that you make from the bank. And then we see an automatic teller machine is just the long for the abbreviation ATM. And you know that this is where you withdraw cash. It's like a mini bank. Okay. And then you have electronic funds transfer. Now in short we just say EFT. This is when you pay something over your banking app or online over the internet. So you don't physically go into the bank. Right, now let's look at a few questions here. Firstly, is the opening balance, so now we've got to go look for the opening balance, a debit or credit balance? Let's see. Opening balance, it had a negative in front of it, which means it is a debit balance. Then, number two, how much cash did Peter Ma withdraw in April. So let's go look at where did he withdraw cash and there where it says ATM it was 500 Rand. Okay so that's 500 Rand. And then how was the school fees paid? So let's go look at the school fees EFT. So once again we know that was then electronically paid and you can say here in brackets via EFT okay question 4 how much money is paid to the bank to Fina bank so let's go look here where you paid a transaction fee of 13.42 that went to the bank because that is a transaction fee so we're going to say there it is 13 rand 42 cents. It's not a lot, but it's a small fee. Okay. Does Peter Moore manage his money well? Now, if you go look at um, in general, right, this is now a general statement, and it is your opinion. But if you go look, you'll see that he even started with a negative opening balance. So in that case, I would say no. His account was overdrawn. So, I would not say that he is doing well in that sense. But once again, it's just an opinion. No, his account was overdrawn. On 1 April. Right. Question 6. What is a cash deposit? Now we did speak on this briefly, so a cash deposit is when you deposit or you pay cash at an ATM or at a bank teller. These days you can even do it in shops. Alright, and then the last question is saying here, is the closing balance a debit? or credit balance. Now we have to go back there and check the closing balance. It was just a positive amount of 8,100. So that tells me that if there's no negative in front of it, it is a credit balance. So this month he actually did well. All right, that is the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.